Hey everybody, welcome to another Muddy Reviews. Today, uh, we're checking out a pretty cool old school piece of kit from London Bridge. Uh, this is a London Bridge 0920, if I remember correctly. I'll have to check my notes. Uh, it is really neat. It's a really cool old school uh, piece of guat history uh, that I stumbled upon at a local surplus shop for a steal. On this rig, we have four mag cells on the outside i have two pouches uh, that i put on there these are both london bridge same basic colorway uh same time frame roughly that this was released maybe a little few years later and uh these are molly pieces or except for this is an alice piece um the outer rig went uh, wings of this rig actually have little alice strips and so i had to kind of finagle them on and like i had to run a zip tie back here to kind of help it you know, stay where it needs to be. But the pouches are contemporaries of the rig, so I thought they would look great on there. I was actually issued these as a riverine and um, got to use these. Not our, we, we really didn't use a lot of this stuff uh, that we were issued. Uh, we were issued, a, except for the mag pouches we got, uh, we were issued a bunch of LBT stuff. It was all sanitized. And, like, these radio pouches, these embitter pouches, well, we didn't run embitters, so... We actually had 152s, so these pouches were kind of uh, moot points right off the gate. Nobody really used them. However, through my research, I've discovered uh, they were actually used by some guys uh, in the Guat. I think possibly Def Group had run these at one point, or at least got them in a kit bag. They probably just bend them, to be honest with you. Not the best radio design, in my opinion, but they do function and they do work. So I threw it on the rig because I had it in a bin in my basement. Or no, basement, sorry, my garage. Wrong country. Had a basement, not anymore. Uh, this side, this pouch is kind of a big pouch. Uh, I believe it's a smoke pouch, if I remember correctly, when I did my research on these things back in the day. And um, there's a name in there. It's not me. It's another person who had this one uh, before me. And not bad. Uh, they'll, they'll hold seven. These, these will hold 760 by 51 max. They'll hold M14 and SR25 uh, with no problem, by the way. But I believe they were originally designed for smoke grenades. And that's what I'm going to run in here. I'm going to run a EG-18X. Uh, or if I'm at a field that doesn't allow pyro, I'll put a little water bottle in there. Either way, uh, contemporary pouches look great on the rig. And a lot of, and just pretty cool to have. So the rig itself, though, is just OG and super fantastic. Uh, it has these old seatbelt style straps that you see here. Um, no buckles. They're sewn directly to the rig. They've got these little... Uh, little metal ovals here not really sure what those were for um kind of wish i had access to an old lbc catalog maybe that would explain maybe those uh if you know out there please tell me i'm super curious because they have these on the sides too really not sure what those are for the pouches themselves are very big and um they will hold pretty much anything you throw at them uh, right now i have three Metal standard GI mid caps from G and G uh, in this pouch in that configuration. I can also run them like this, but they sit really, really deep uh, in the pouch if I run them that way. But they will still hold three. Theoretically, if I was running an AR airsoft or a real gun, I could carry 12 magazines with this rig. Now, retrieving my magazines without a um, little 550 quart pull like this that's a little, little guat trick from back in the day um normally we would actually take the the bottom panel off the bottom of our magazines and then we would put the 550 quart with tiny loops and we'd shove them under here and then we would put that back on and it would actually hold your uh, cordage but i can't do that with this mid cap so i used tape instead because a lot of times i would we would also i know i would and other guys we would still run tape around the bottom of the mag to help just kind of you know, keep it from being an issue or to identify our magazines when we were out training and we dumped them on the ground. We could always pick them back up and go, that's my mag. Because so you, you got particular with magazines. A lot of times you'd have the one with a good follower or whatever. So you didn't want to lose it. So you would mark your mags somehow. Um, but I digress. So if you had a bunch of mags like this, you'd be good. Um, but the other two don't have that. I didn't do that to those. So retrieving those mags from this pouch Kind of difficult. This side, we have two AK-74 mags, and they fit really, really well. 
Um, so much so that I almost think this was actually designed for AK magazines in mind. Or it was just designed as a universal pouch, and which makes these far too deep for AR Max. Now, you could take a small hunk of foam, if you had some, and you could stick it down in the bottom of this mag pouch, and then that would force your mags to sit right about here, and then retrieving them would be quite easy, and you would still have the ability to close your lids with no issues, hence it could hold AK mags. I have no doubt that these pouches would hold uh, SR25, but they would swallow them. They'd be way down here. So again, you would have to do some weird um, guat magic and cut some foam and shove them down there and do all sorts of weird shit uh, just to make it function. But it could work. You could actually put those mags because they are these pouches are so damn big. Uh, you have a map pouch portion here snapped on sorry this camera's gonna shake guys there we go uh you got the label here it's the old school london bridge gold gold lion label and then you the matte pouch runs the entire footprint of the rig see my hand right there so you can shove uh maps and other random bullshit you need in there and it'd be good to go just fishing it back out again would be kind of hard because it's just gonna flop around there it's basically a junk drawer uh, back side of the rig, nothing back there, just two large drain holes, grommets in the bottom uh, to facilitate sand and water draining out of it. Got the old guy's zap number. Um, pretty cool piece of guat history in my opinion, really neat rig. I don't see these a whole, whole lot around. Uh, so when I found it and how just the fact that it was super cheap, I snagged it up because I've always wanted one of these and I've always thought they were just really cool fucking rigs. And um, just being a being a guat vet, I just was like, dude, that's fucking badass. That's OG status. I mean, my first deployment was in 06, so kind of midpoint of the war. And stuff like this was still kind of in vogue back then. So this is kind of nostalgic for me. Hope you guys got something out of this video. And uh, actually, you know, maybe got to see one of these, you know, in person for the first time i know this is one of the first times i've got to actually put my hands on one other than seeing it just in like cool pictures of team dudes doing cool team dude things uh definitely like it i like how thin the straps are you can definitely run a pack with it really easily and i'm just super glad i got one as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate all your support i hope like i said this was an interesting video and um i may start doing like a little series of videos every time I find cool random shit at Army Navy stores uh, that I pick up. I may just start reviewing it because I have quite a few things in my room that I've never touched on. Uh, just to show you guys and also to just kind of show that old school swag that is out there that still is quite viable. Uh, if you're like a prepper type guy, I hate that term, but you know, you just need a rig that's going to hold some magazines and do what you got to do on the range. Uh, this thing is really rad for that. Um, if you're a connoisseur of old quad shit, this thing is super rad for that. And then if you're just an airsoft or want to do like um, old school SEAL Team BB War kits, this is definitely perfect for that. Anyway, um, that's all I got, guys. I'll see you in the next video. As always, get out there, play some airsoft, have fun, train, LARP hard, and go find those cool old school nuggets hiding in your local surplus store. Because I promise you they're out there. Peace.